Welcome back to Focus on the Middle North. Panic and political uncertainty have gripped the troubled, flavor-starved island kingdom of Britain following the collapse of the extremist white-wing regime led by strongman Boris Johnson. Sylvia Muir reports. Tensions are rising here in the riverside capital of London on the banks of the Gulu following a move by the embattled far-white strongman Boris Johnson to cling to power despite the fall of his regime. Johnson has formed a transitional national government and is using the pretext of avoiding a dangerous power vacuum to extend his stay in office after revolts led by MPs from small tribes led to mass cabinet resignations. The pariah nation, however, lacks a constitutional mechanism for removing the authoritarian ruler, whose three-year reign of error has rolled back human rights protections, seen millions of pounds of government contracts handed to oligarchs connected to the regime, and claimed tens of thousands of lives. How is the international community responding to these troubling developments? Well, African envoys have issued a statement underlying the need to maintain stability on the reclusive archipelago and expressing solidarity with the dentally afflicted British people. I spoke to foreign policy expert Christopher Ogunmodede earlier, who emphasized that the West African delegation also stands ready to help the British people in this period of grave uncertainty. I think Mr. Ogun Mudede speaks for all of us, Sylvia. Please stay safe. Well, that's all the time we have for now. See you next time. As you continue with our tour, you will see a door on your left with the number 10 on it. That is the home and office of the Prime Minister and is over 300 years old. The current outgoing Prime Minister is Boris Johnson. Ah, so this is where this man lives. I've been waiting for this day. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you get out? Please. Can you get out? No, do that. No, 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 no,